एवरीवन सो इन टुडे वीडियो आई एम गोट शो यू वॉट्स इन माई मेकअप बैग वेन आई एम ट्रेवलिंग दिस हेज बीन वन ऑफ द मोस्ट रिक्वेस्टेड वीडियोज ऑल्सो बिकॉज three things three ground rules that anyone should follow when they are traveling with makeup one things have to be multi purpose so you don't have to carry so many things they have to occupy less space also and two you should be able to reapply it if you want to even if you're inside a bus or a flight you should be able to reapply it without looking awkward <laughs> that's one and the last thing is i should be able to take it off at the end of the day with ease i don't have really that kind of time when i'm traveling so these are the three things that i follow keeping these guidelines in mind let's see what we have in this makeup a pouch so this is from the brand modern mist this pouch actually they send this to me as a gift i really love this one so uh, it's very spacious also see so i'll put the link in the description box if you're interested you can check that out so let me just start with the basic thing that people do not want to address when they're traveling which is the eyebrows it's just threading enough or say if you're someone who does not like threading you want your brows to look really natural then i have a product suggestion which is brow bro by indulgio You might be wondering if I'm asking you to carry this big box. No, this is the product that you need, and you will need one spoolie. That's all. You can definitely carry this much, right? So this is basically like a like a bro soap, and okay. <laughs> so this is basically like a bro soap. So I've been using it for a week right now. All you have to do is you have to activate this with some rose water or mist or something. I always carry a mist with me, like a like a body mist or a face mist, like multi-purpose, preferably rose water. But what I have here today is the Arabian Blooming Jasmine Witch Hazel Toning Mist. I love the jasmine fragrance of this one. So I'll just spray the mist into the product, and I'll take a little bit with the spoolie, and I'll just apply on my brows. So what you see right now is my brows with the product. They look quite natural and quite dark, right? So my so my eyebrows are not really thick actually. There are gaps also. But with this product, I really love how natural my brows look and when i touch it i can feel that it has hardened uh, which would mean that it will stay put for the entire day which is amazing and this is not just a styling product i mean it's not like a soap you have here coconut oil castor sorbitol oil lavender essential oil fenugreek cedar wood all amazing ingredients which will help in the growth of your eyebrows as well overall i think indulgio has done an amazing job with this one if you want to like fill in your eyebrows with an eyebrow pencil then you can do that and later use this product to set your brows also so you can either use it directly onto your naked brows or on your filled up brows in whichever way this product will not disappoint you you should carry this when you're traveling this is something that is truly multi purpose is this sugar palette it is the contour de force palette and this is my second one i finished one last year and the variant or the shade that i have here is vivid victory so this one contains basically three products a blush a highlighter and a bronzer and obviously it comes with a mirror and let us not underestimate the importance of a mirror when you're traveling and want to do makeup i always prefer things with mirror so what i like the most about this particular kit is that um forget the bronzer if you don't want this but this highlighter is really nice you can build up the shade if you want to so right now i have a little bit of highlighter on my cheeks and i don't have base makeup okay i've just applied some compact so without any base makeup the highlighter still looks fine then there is blush again that is something that people don't really want to use when they're traveling but then say if you have a party or something and you want to carry the bare minimum then this blush is amazing i mean the kit itself is really good and of course you have the contour as well which is a very dark shade as you can see to put it on your cheeks or on your um, eyes as eye shadow you just need one brush and this is the brush that i use you can take the product and apply gently as a highlighter and you can use the same brush for your eye shadow as well how convenient is that now for the blush you can just take it with your finger and just you know pat it gently and that's all that's all you don't have to go overboard with that overall that is why i love this kit and also there are i think two or three shades available it is really a good product to invest in because it's truly multi purpose for the base makeup i only use a compact or a banana powder and, and currently i'm using this powder play banana compact by sugar so banana powder usually comes in one shade which is like slightly yellowish so this one is good because one there is a mirror <laughs> mirror then obviously you have the product let me just show you 
So you might think it will suit only fairer to medium skin tones, but that's not the case. It really doesn't have any shade once you apply and blend it correctly. So that is the purpose of banana powder. And once you open it, you have the puff also. So you don't have to separately carry the puff. It has a space in the box itself, which is nice. And banana powder usually, I feel it is helping me um, contain the oiliness of my face also. Like throughout the day, if I'm traveling, I would like to maybe keep on applying this uh, without uh, having that cakey look at the same time it absorbs or kind of it gives a purpose of a blotting paper sometimes it uh, kind of mattifies the oiliness so i truly love using this i use it on my entire face on my eyes and everywhere before starting off with makeup and i love to carry this one coming to eye makeup um i am still a fan of the good old lacme eyeliner I still love to use this one because it's very easy to apply and very easy to wash off also. So I like this one. You can probably choose any eyeliner. It's not a problem. And usually for cold, which I use on my lower lash line, I used to like or I still like the plum uh, coal a lot but then I hate the sharpening part. I hear that plum has launched something new but I have another favorite here which is from the brand My Glam. It is the Jet Set Ice in the shade Black Noir. It is a twister pencil and this is the shade um i have it right now on my lower lash line it really doesn't smudge that much it is good for sensitive eyes also it has never caused any irritation or any difficulty and the fact that it is retraceable makes it all the more attractive in my eyes i mean in my eyes and on my eyes <laughs> so yeah um whenever i'm traveling i would like to carry something like this um this is a new favorite from the brand My Glam. This one is nice. As for mascara, I try to carry mini versions. Um, so I have this one that I got in Fab Bag, which I'm carrying all the time. It is the Uptown Curl Lengthening Mascara, Black Beauty. Um, if you've seen the Fab Bag unboxing, you must have seen it. So I try to carry a small, uh, you know, po pocket-sized one. Um, I like the usage of mascara because I think it suddenly you know, amps up the look of your eyes very easily and uh, waterproof is also okay because you can easily take it off at the end of the day. So these are the three things that I'll probably use for my eye makeup. For the lips, I basically carry two things. One, I'll carry a nude shade, you know, just in case it's going out and you just want a lipstick but not too much, then this is that shade. This is the matte as hell crayon lipstick in the shade Viola. I love this shade. I have no area to swatch only. Let me just show you. Okay, yeah. It's called matte as hell, but it is not drying. That is the best part. It's still a crayon and I have dry lips. And when we are traveling also, maybe the water intake and all won't be proper. So I really don't like super drying lipsticks at that point of time. So, but if I want something brighter for my lips, then I will go for another shade from the matte as hell crayon range. It is shade number 22. And that is the shade that I have on my lips right now. Uh, this is a brighter shade and both of these shades cover pigmentation really well because I have pigmented lips. I am loving this particular matte as hell crayon range from Sugar. Probably their bestseller for good reason. And you have to sharpen this. That is the only con. But when you're traveling, it's not really a problem. You just have to sharpen once. It is going to be fine for at least 10 days. So don't worry about that. And yeah, I have this uh, sharpener from Sugar itself. It has two... A jumbo hole and a mini one and it has a cap also so you don't have to worry about discarding the waste this is the sharpener if you're interested you can get this one i'll put the link in the description box removing makeup is as important as applying makeup right but when i'm traveling i really can't worry much about sustainability because i don't prefer carrying a wet cloth with me all the time and also i kind of prefer to go with the cotton pads and any of the Mizella waters. So I am currently using the Bioderma Sensi Bio H2O. I've been using this for three years now. It's good for sensitive skin. It's good for all skin types. It can take off whatever makeup I just discussed right now easily and it doesn't dry out your skin also. So this is an essential part of my makeup bag. So yes, these are the products that I carry in my makeup routine. Uh, it's lightweight but super efficient and it will get the job done. So next I'll probably do skincare in my travel bag. Okay, I think that'd be interesting. So yeah, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. All the links will be in the description box. So we will meet again with another. Until then, take care. Bye.